Hello everybody and welcome back to Chase Town FC TV. In today's video we're going to be dissecting and looking upon the game in midweek where they played Basford United of Nottinghamshire on the Tuesday night. Um, the game in itself uh, was an FA Cup first qualifying round game and um, it, many of the Chase Town fans turned up for the game and had a really good attendance of 266 people which is a good number for this um, this type of league and something that hopefully we can look to look to build upon in the future um, and in terms of the game itself uh, Chase Town were reduced to 10 men in the 50th minute when Callum Hay Haywood was brought upon um, by new manager Mark Swan um, Curtis Pond managed to get himself sent off in that game um, and it was something that Swan had to try and rectify it to try and um, to quickly think about his options on the bench and it was a straight replacement in the end in the 50th minute and um, luckily it turned out to, to help us in the match really um, he had impressed in the under 21s and it was a good replacement to bring off from the bench um, so Joey Butlin um, the new signing previously played for Walsall Wood and had been at the likes of Hensford Town as well he got himself a um, a goal and it was Ollie Haywood with the uh, the free kick assist for that as well so that sent us off into the lead it was a really good start uh, by Chase Town and we were uh, moving in the right direction in the game and then unfortunately the um, Basford uh, United team equalised and it was Kane Richards who got onto the end of another header um, and things were were looking fairly even up until that point and uh, the game was going backwards and forwards and both teams were like probing trying to look for the equaliser um, but our club captain Ryan Winter he um, he got the winner in the end and the assist was uh, provided by Jack Langston um, again that was another header and I think it sent at that point it, it sent the Chase Town fans into raptures like the you know like the whole um, the feeling of scoring and, and getting yourself like your team in front um, in that part of the game as well like very very late on it, it must have been a really really good feeling for the squad and it must have boosted the morale for, for Mark and, and the guys to see that um, as we, we luckily we managed to defend and we managed to see off uh, Basford in the final uh, parts of the game we managed to, to read their, uh, their through balls and they tried to go direct as well they tried to hit long balls but we managed to to see them off in the end of that was something that was positive to uh, to see really and um, it's something that Mark himself he highlighted that in his uh, post-match uh, press uh, conference he said that it's, it's good to see that defensively we've um, started to, to work on these things and like um, try to eradicate certain parts of defensive errors from our games so yeah I'm really really happy that we, uh, we've got ourselves a win and it's time to look forward now um, particularly after the, the, uh, the defeat against Frickel Athletic um, again who are based in Nottinghamshire that was our first league fixture and it's good to see that we've been able to pick ourselves up and, and go again in, in that respect so yeah I'm happy about that um, so following on from that we've actually been drawn today at home to AFC Telford um, in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup and there in the National League North which is just below the National League which is the highest um, sort of league at this, this football and pyramid level um, and Telford will be no means an easy opponent they'll have lots of experience and lots of um, seasoned uh, pros at this sort of level so I'm sure Chase Town are looking forward to, to that time I'm sure they'll, they'll give it their all and I'm, hope, I'm hoping it'll be a cracker um, I really really do and uh, finally um, at the weekend we're playing um, Belper Town away um, and we previously played them in February on the 19th we, we beat them 1-0 away 
and um, it was a good good sort of uh, away victory you know like we grounded out the result we played some good football and um, the reverse fixture we were due to have in the league on the 24th of March was cancelled due to the Covid uh, situation so I'm hoping we're going to see how we fare against them. I'm hoping we get another positive result to kick on in the league um, and try and improve our position early on, try and acquire a certain amount of points to stand us in a good stead for the rest of the season really. So that's what I'm hoping to see uh, from the scholars really in the next sort of few weeks. But anyway, thank you for the uh, video and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.